And a deadly house fire on Christmas Day has a triad family mourning the loss of a loved one. Good evening. I'm Chad Silver and I'm Sydney Moore. His family says he leaves behind a wife and two children. WFMY News 2's I Denise McMiller spoke with a close cousin of Christopher Jenkins who was there the night of the fire. He said he was still in the house and I said still in the house, but I could tell something was wrong when you get there and you see eight fire trucks and you know down power line is still hot. Anthony Jenkins jumped into action as flames billowed from his cousin's home Christmas Day. He received a phone call about the fire since he lives nearby. It's, it's like being in a time capsule. Like you're kind of running, but you're, you're like, you can't get there fast enough. You, you're short of breath. And it's just, ah, it's, it's unex, unexplainable. Still, still numb. We lost a family member, you know, on, you know, on a day that we, you know, can, can, you know cherished. Went to the window, the whole house, back of the house was on fire. A 10 year old who lives in the Brookway Drive neighborhood in Winston Salem saw the fire. He and his other brother also tried to help. If they did what they could. They wanted to do more, trust me. My oldest son, he, he was trying to get to the back of the house, but. It was impossible. It, yeah, the flames, it happened so quick. Despite doing all they could, fire officials say 52-year-old Christopher Jenkins didn't make it. The cause of the fire is still being investigated, but Anthony says Christopher went home to heat up a meal for his wife, who worked late. Very mild-mannered, soft-spoken, and big, genuine heart. Uh, is very patient and always trying to do for everybody and always, and, and he loved to cook. You know, we always got together during holiday time. Anthony says he and Christopher were raised as brothers and showed me a photo of them on Christmas Day as children. At Christmas time, ironically, he died on Christmas Day. As Anthony reflects on the good times, he can't help but wish he was still here. It's a terrible accident and, you know, I, I, I wish we could have him back here. A family still in mourning. His younger son he left behind. Now has to prepare their New Year's plans nah. without a loved one. In Winston-Salem, I, Tanise McMiller, WFMY News 2.